Hello everyone. Today I will uh, talk about the principal roots and rational numbers. This is for everybody and uh, this is also special for those uh, grade 7 students. So our objectives our objectives are the following. Number 1, describe principal roots and tell whether they are rational or irrational. The second one, determine between what two integers the square root of a number is. We have this activity. You are going to give the product of the following as fast as you can. From 1 to 10. The C have the same answer. Number 1 is 1. Number 6 is 36. Number 2 is 4. Number 7 is 49, number 3 is 9, number 8 is 64, number 4 is uh, 16, number 9 is uh, positive 81, number 5 is 25, and number 10 is positive 100. Now let us look at another way uh, writing the product of this activity. Number 1, 1 times 1 is the same as 1 squared, that is 1. 6 times 6 is the same as uh, 6 squared equals 36. Number 2, 2 times 2 is the same as 2 squared equals 4. And 7 times 7 is the same as 7 squared equals 49. Number 3, we have 3 times 3 is the same as 3 squared equals 9. And negative 8 times negative 8 is the same as negative 8 squared equals 64. 4 times 4 is the same as 4 squared equals 16. And negative 9 times negative 9 is the same as negative 9 squared equals 81. And then number 5, we have 5 times 5 is the same as 5 squared equals 25. And the last one, 10 times 10 is the same as 10 squared equals 100 product here are all perfect squares. Why? Because their factors are the same. Again, our topic is about principal roots and irrational numbers. Let's start with uh, this one on principal and roots. It says here, any number say a whose nth power n a positive integer is b is called the nth root of b. To understand this better, let us have an illustrative example. Consider the following from the previous activity that we have. We have 4 times 4 or 4 squared equals 16. This means that 4 is the second or square root of 16 or the square root of 16 is 4. And it is written as square root of 16 equals 4. Number 1, we have negative 8 squared equals positive 64. This means that negative 8 is the square root of 64 or the square root of 64 is negative 8. We write it this way as square root of 64 equals negative 8. Now notice these two examples. The first one, the answer is positive 4 and the second one, the answer is negative 8. But here we are not concerned about the negative roots of the number. We are concerned here about the positive root or positive square root of a number. We have the following concepts. The principal nth root of a positive number is the positive nth root. Example, as I have mentioned earlier. Square root of 81 is equal to 9. So, our principal nth root is positive 9, not negative 9. Although, uh, square root of 81 could be negative 9 because negative 9 times negative 9 is equal to positive 81. But, we are concerned again by this concept. We are concerned about the positive nth root. Next. The principal nth root of a negative number is the negative nth root if n is odd. For example, we have the cube root of negative 125. So our a number here 
is um, is add and a number here inside is negative 125 so if we factor negative 125 we have negative 5 times negative 5 times negative 5 and that is negative 125 so therefore we say that the cube root of negative 125 is equal to negative 5 this is an illustration of this concept and the third one is if n is even and the number is negative the principal nth root is not defined for example we have square root of negative 25 is undefined there is no answer for this one we have parts of the radicals we have the radical sign we have index we have radicand and again this whole is called the radical so to determine whether the principal root is a rational or a rational number determine first if the radicand is a perfect nth root or perfect nth power or not if it is then the root is rational otherwise it is irrational let's have some problems have some problems we have problem number one tell whether the principal root of each number is rational or irrational number one we have cube root of 27 equals 3 we see that this is rational because our result here is a whole number it is positive 3 and the cube root of 27 is understood from this concept 3 times 3 times 3 equals 3 cube equals 27 so we say that the cube root of 27 equals positive 3 and 3 is a whole number it is rational the second one we have square root of 121 is equal to positive 11 this is rational so we come up here from 11 times 11 equals 11 squared equals 121 so again square root of 121 is equal to 11 the third example we have square root of 35 in your calculator it is 5.916 that, that, that or this is an irrational number there is no uh, whole number result for this number 3 uh, problem there is no whole number so it is an irrational 5.916 is an irrational number again we have number 4 square root of 82 is equal to 9.055 that, that, that this is an irrational number uh, you can find this in your calculator and number 5 is a rational number so cube root of 200 uh, 4th root I mean 4th root of 256 is equal to 4 and that is rational number because uh, 4 is whole number and uh, this uh, result is come from 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 or 4 to the 4th equals 256 so we notice we have uh, in order to get the value of the uh, radicals we go back to the multiplication of numbers with the same factors so this is how to get the or to tell whether the principal root of each number is rational or irrational we have problem number two the principal roots of the numbers below are between two integers find two such integers we have here the square root of 17 and the square root of 17 is an irrational number so we are going to find the numbers this uh, uh, numbers must be integers so we have here um, we know that there is a number less than 17 which is a perfect square and that is 16 
So we have 4 times 4 equals 16, or 4 squared equals 16. And above 17, we also have a number or a perfect square which is 25. And 25 is 5 squared or 5 times 5 equals 25. So we have square root of 16 is 4 and square root of 25 is 5. Therefore, since 17 is between 16 and 25, the square root of 17 is between 4 and 5. Number two, we have cube root of 50. Now think about the number with this uh, cube root of 50. We have here 3 cube equals 27 and 4 cube equals 64. Now 50 is between 27 and 64. Therefore, we say that the cube root of 50 is between 3 and 4. And the last example, we have the square root of 110. Think of the numbers which are perfect squares, less than 110 and uh, more than or above 110, near 110. So we have 10 squared equals 100 and 11 squared equals 121. So again, 110 is between 100 and 121. Therefore, the square root of 110 is between 10 and 11. So, those are the... Now, it's your turn to answer the following problems. Letter A. Tell whether the principal root of each number below is rational or irrational. We have numbers 1 to 5. And letter B. Between which two consecutive integers does each square root lie? You have numbers 1 to 5. I hope you will get this perfect. Good luck.